Hello everyone and welcome back to another manga haul. So we have quite a big haul today. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight volumes and some of them were kind of expensive because some of them were in color and if you don't know, the mangas that are in color are usually about like $20 compared to regular mangas and so they're a little bit more pricey but we got out today for like $23. Like $23. Like $20. $28.77 is how much I paid today because I had so many Barnes & Noble gift cards and like money that I got for Christmas so I decided to treat myself to some manga and so today we are going to go over this little manga haul that I have and I actually got a few new ones today and a couple old series old series that I'm trying to finish up reading so let's go ahead and just hop on into it. So the first one is an anime that I really want to watch but I'm not going to watch it until I finish this series which is Oshinoko. This is the fourth volume. I really do like the series. I really didn't think I was gonna like it because it's a little bit more on the gory side but I love anything that is idol related and I just think it's a really good twist on like you know the kind of cutesy idol stuff that you see like Love Live and Aikatsu and Prepara to name a few like really big like kind of like kind of girly more more girly I would say idol animes and so I really like the dark twist that you kind of have in this one and it shows just how hard it is being an idol and so I, I love the series so so much and so this is the fourth volume it is so so pretty I think these covers are just so gorgeous and I love the characters eyes it's the best part it is absolutely the best part and next, as we can see, we got a wrapped. We got a wrapped one here. If you guys didn't know, I picked up the first volume of this one at Mr. K's and I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I do like it enough that I bought the second one, which is I'll Never Be Your Crown Princess. Like I said before on this channel, I really got into like the Regency, like Dukes, Duchesses, Princesses princes kingdom kind of kind of series and stuff i've really gotten into that recently and so this one is a little bit spicy so if you like a little bit of spice you know what i mean this is a good one for you um just beware because there's some boobs okay and this next one i only found the first two but i have been dying to watch this anime but i really like to read the manga first of a series before i watch the anime just because whenever i watch the anime and then read the manga it takes the fun out of the manga for me and so this is one that i have had on my list for a while i've just not been able to find it until today which is volumes one and two of shikimori is not just a cutie this is honestly one one of the cutest ones I've seen recently. Let's show you guys. This is the volume one. My dog shook volume one. There's the back. It's a super kind of cute like rom-com and then this is volume two and I just love the way that they do her hair where like the back is supposed to be like a shade but it's like blue. It's not like actually like blue or anything. Like if you were to get a wig, this would not be blue. It's just like the shade from what I've heard, but it's just so cute. I cannot wait to start this one. I have been wanting to get this one forever. Next we have volume eight of Imakoi. I love this one. This is genuinely like one of my favorite series that I have ever read. I love this one so much. Personally, I'm a big fan of Miria's relationship a little bit more than our main character because I just like the dynamic where she's super cute and her boyfriend's kind of like like kind of more punky bad boy type of guy but like you know still sweetie I just love it it's just such a good one like this is genuinely just like one of my fave mangas and there's their boyfriends on the back they're kind of more like kind of like troublemaking bad boys but like still softies and I just I like it it's just really cute next let's get into some more series that I have just recently picked up so if you guys don't know I'm a big fruits basket fan you guys can't see it because it's all the way over there but I have not actually read this series yet, which is Fruit Baskets Another, which is kind of like the future of Fruits Baskets. It kind of focuses around their children, if you can't tell. Their children. And I don't know if this... This character here is actually a Soma or not. She reminds me a lot of Tom... 
She reminds me a lot of Toru, but also Kagura at the same time. So I don't know if she's a Soma, but I do know for a fact that she like interacts with the Somas because they're in this as well. So I'm super excited. My dog is sniffing the bag that my manga came in. I'm super excited to see what this one just really entails. And I really hope to see our favorite characters come back as parents. Like I'm just so excited to start this one. I've wanted to start it for so long, but I've had such a hard time finding the first volume. Whenever I go to my Barnes and Nobles, there's always like volumes two, five, and like that's it. There's never like a one. So finally I got a one. Once again, I like the princessy kind of thing. So this one is called The Villainess Who Has Been Killed 108 Times. She remembers everything. This one looks super, super cool. And I am definitely someone who judges manga based off the cover. Sorry, but I do judge a book by its cover because I mean, come on. <laughs> it's just so pretty, like, oh my goodness. And this is the back. Honestly, this character reminds me a lot of Fischl from Genshin Impact, but I, I really love the kind of like reincarnated villain slash reincarnated like empress, I guess. I just, I love it. I love that type of series. And so a lot of the ones that I do have are like, you know, past lives coming together and reliving a story and, you know, just coming back from the dead essentially. And like, I just, I love it so much. So I cannot wait to get started for this one. And the last one that I picked up today, I almost didn't get just because I didn't know what it was. And I was like, it's a little bit more expensive because it's in color, but I just picked it up because look at this cover. <laughs> It's absolutely gorgeous. Once again, I have a thing for covers that are just beautiful. If you put a beautiful woman with a beautiful dress, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> there's, there's nothing more to it. If there's a pretty girl with a pretty dress, I'm gonna buy it. And so I'm really excited to read this one. Once again, it is in colors, so it's a little bit more expensive. This one was $20. So yeah, I'm super excited for this one. This is The Villainous Turns the Hourglass. Once again, it's kind of like a going back in time kind of story, and I just love those so much. So I can't wait to read these two personally because it's my new favorite, like kind of guilty pleasure genre because I am loving Webtoon right now and I'm really loving the stories where like the girl goes back in time through some kind of mystical power. She just happens to go back in time and goes back to correct the wrongs of her past life. And like she has a bad relationship with her like, like, fiance slash husband and so she turns it around and like the mother-in-law was like really crappy to her and so she like exposes her in this new life like it's a guilty pleasure at this point to be honest yeah this is today's haul it's kind of a big one and by big i mean like they're a little bit more expensive just because i got a lot of tall ones and the taller ones are a little bit more expensive than these like really short ones but these are all ones that i am super excited to read i can't wait to get into them so if you guys enjoyed today's month Haul. I hope you guys enjoyed by the way. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Tell me if there's anything that I should be reading in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye!